Someone thought this comparison was a little harsh. It's not my fault that they use the exact same language. It's called propaganda. It's what hurtful people say to hurt or destroy other people, whether it's for profit or power. It is pretty sad when the people being destroyed have never done any harm to the hurtful people. Natural doctors were put in jail for practicing medicine without a license. The AMA blocked our attempts at accreditation and licensure. And even after that was accomplished, they blocked our ability to be paid through insurance. With no harm from natural, no patients demanding compensation for their injuries, in fact, they held signs outside of the jails in support of their non-doctor doctors. Because the real doctors were prescribing arsenic and strychnine and mercury, painkillers that turn people blue and brutal surgeries. The joke of the day was, if you go to the natural doc, you die of your disease. And if you go to the medical doctor, you die of the treatment. And it was probably true. White people were just learning the native herbs. But there was one who achieved historical results. He's been called the father of Western herbalism, and he demonstrated the potential of plant medicines if you know how to use them. But that was before the AMA organized to destroy their competition with propaganda, calling my people a disgrace and a danger, despite clear evidence to the contrary. It's true, I've tested it. If you take the wrong herbs, mainly you just don't get better. Thus the joke. And I'd rather die of natural causes than strychnine poisoning. But the medical doctors were the wealthy elite. Backed by Carnegie and Rockefeller, their report to our government slandered my people, suggested that black doctors concern themselves with hygiene and protecting whites from contamination, and said lower class patients are often hostile. They served alcohol to the rich during prohibition, collecting millions a year on prescriptions, while the poor were arrested for making their own. I wish we were just talking about ancient history. Sadly, the AMA was found guilty of racketeering and conspiracy to destroy natural medicine in 1990. For 30 years, if I ever shared an opinion, somebody would say, you're not even a real doctor. Yep, a direct quote from your propaganda, teaching our culture that my perspective is not worthy of consideration. I had my insurance contract terminated, 70% of my income for helping a woman with a medical condition. Yes, they own sickness and they hurt anyone who gets in their business. Some people believe there are a growing number of mysterious deaths involving natural doctors who had gained some level of influence. The worst thing I've experienced, when you point your finger at me and call me a danger, despite 30 years of remarkable success and no harm, people approach me with hatred and hostility without knowing a thing about me except what you told them. In fact, I doubt that anyone would have any level of hostility towards nature without your influence. It's just not natural. And now that I have seen for myself the potential of plants when you know how to use them, it's even worse because you are keeping people from healing and living a healthy life for no other reason than profit. You don't have to slander nature. If her medicine didn't work, people would see the results for themselves and doctors like me would just disappear from never helping anyone. You should be ashamed of yourself. And if any doctor doesn't want to be associated with this comparison, then stop funding the AMA.